All right, guys, welcome to another video. This is the Commerce Growth Hub. We talk about everything e com related, B2B, B2C, D2C, however you want to chop it up. We're going to sit here and cover it all because we're involved in a little bit of everything when it really comes into the e commerce space. And we are opening up a lot of different projects that are going to take us more into the offline sector. So, you know, if you're looking to learn from people that are actually doing the work, actually in the field right now not three four five years ago but today yesterday and the next day then this is the place to be all right so let's hop right into this video this is going to be parts of the business outside of your control so these are going to be things that when you're running your e-commerce store for the most people how they have it set up a few things that are going to be outside of your control okay so the first thing is going to be facebook ads issues as you can see the date of recording for this video i am recording it on the 17th so there was a major major outage as far as ads on the 13th of september which was about four days ago so these are just things that happen guys you cannot control it you might lose money you might get refunded you might still do okay in business that day this might be the day that you just launched a huge marketing campaign this could be the day that you said you were going to scale and facebook just had a bad day someone spilled coffee on the desk someone did something for this error to occur okay so this is just something you can't control don't beat yourself up don't get mad about it don't feel like you know the world is out to get you or hey this this would happen on the day i tried to scale or you know just try again the next day you know try again in a couple more days you know give it some time and and usually after things like this maybe the next day is still a little wonky maybe it's wonky for another couple of days right i'm seeing some major ups and downs right now like i'm seeing some inconsistencies i would say right but we are seeing straight profit but still you know there's like some days is higher some days are lower right we're feeling a, a lot of inconsistencies but i mean you know sometimes that's just how it is with facebook in general it could have nothing to do with this so also just try not to point your finger at every single issue but just understand like there are things that you can't control and you know don't don't lose your composure right stay cool calm and collected all right and another thing is Shopify issues. Sometimes it's actually going to be the platform that you're hosting that's going to have issues. Sometimes Shopify has checkout issues, okay? Sometimes Shopify has issues with the admin back end. Sometimes there are, you know, they're down. It happens. Sometimes your site is going to be down. Sometimes your checkout isn't going to work. Sometimes these things go out, and it is what it is. Literally, it is what it is. That's all I can tell you. You know, don't panic. You're going to have Shopify issues. You're going to have Facebook issues. If you use TikTok, you might run into some TikTok issues. If you use Pinterest, Snapchat, Google, you're going to might run into issues at some point in time. Don't panic. Just figure out what's the best thing to do at the moment. You know, stay unfazed. Find something productive to do, right? You don't have to sit at the ads manager or look at your store, wonder about your sales all day. Find that next product. Create that next one in creative. You know, update your website. You know, contact some influencers. Get some more UGC made. Go outside. You know, take an hour off. Read a book. It's so much stuff that you can do that's actually going to still be able to have a productive day. Because as long as you keep improving yourself and keep having productive days, your business is going to grow regardless because you're a boss. So it's all about, like, continue, continuously bossing yourself up so that the business will boss up. But if you just sit there and be like, oh, day's ruined. I'm upset. I'm not going to do anything now then you're letting outside things control you. How are you ever going? You're never going to be able to hit your full potential unless everything is perfect outside of your inner mind and outside of you, which is like you can never you can never control any of that. So for you to feel like you're only able to do everything productive when you're having a good sales day, when your row ass is where you need it to be, when everything is firing off on perfect cylinders, you know, you might be able to, have productive days 60 to 70 maybe even 80 percent of the time but that other percent where everything isn't working well and let's say it's even 90 percent right let's say 90 percent of the time everything's going smooth that 10 percent if something goes wrong with your business or something's going wrong with shopify or something's going wrong with the advertising platform you're you're um, running ads on or if something happens to the website um, you know, the, the service that you're hosting your website on and the, the, the payment, something goes wrong with PayPal, if something goes wrong with Stripe, if something goes wrong with Shopify payments, then you're not going to be productive that day. You're not going to get far ahead of the competition. 
and you're gonna have to get extremely lucky to have consistent growth because on those days when things aren't really going that well that's when you zoom out focus on actual things that are going to push the business focus on things that's going to push you as a person focus on upgrading your life focus on you know for instance right something i did um some days you might just wake up and your raw ass is at break even or you're or you're negative you might be losing a couple hundred dollars you know make your adjustments swift make logical decisions not emotional decisions and then move on you know move on to something productive like for instance one time i made my decisions it wasn't looking great i made my decisions i handled some business outside of my actual business that i was working on i cleaned up my place you know i took care of myself that day and then i checked back later that day boom we were very very well in profit that's what i'm saying you can't you have to remain unfazed and you just be productive that's the only thing because even if i was came back to my business later that day and saw that we actually you know stayed negative or we weren't doing good I was still had a very productive day. So I was okay either way. I was not phased by the results. It was what it was. But if you don't have a productive day and you just sit around moping all day, sad all day, frustrated all day, then when you go back and check your business and it still didn't perform or you still didn't break into profitability, you're going to feel even more shittier and you're going to make emotional decisions. You're not going to be good and you could prolong this time period by not being able to just make clear, concise decisions because of your emotions. So stay unfazed, find something productive to do, and do not panic, right? Never, ever any reason to panic. You ever been watching a movie and you saw a crazy scene happen? For instance, I was watching a movie not too long ago, The Perfect Storm, and in one scene, um, the, the storm was happening and the plane went down under sea, and all I remember saying was in my mind to the pilot, like, you can't panic right now. If you panic, you lose. That's all I remember. If you panic, you lose. That's all I remember thinking. And he didn't panic. And he made it out of the helicopter and was able to swim up to safety. So that's what it's really all about. Not panicking. Do not panic. No matter what. Stay calm. Stay cool. And stay collected. All right. This has been the Commerce Bro Pub. Website is live. The link is going to be in the description. Make sure to get our free PDF before we take it down and swap it out with the next one. And this is just the beginning, man. So join us. Everything is not going to be straight technical. I also want to hit you guys with a lot of the mental behind it because to me, it's a mental game above all. Like, yeah, there's some technicals, but all that stuff is already mapped out. But what they don't tell you is how to react when you when things happen, how to respond. And a lot of times you don't. You just keep doing what you're supposed to do. You stay unfazed, you stay cool, you stay calm, you stay collected. All right, this has been another video from the Commerce Growth Hub. Thank you guys for, for tuning in and checking it out.